Well, this morning to help administer communion, we're going to have some of our kids come up here. London is going to be sharing some scripture with us. Hope will be talking about the bread, and Jake will be talking about the cup. So come on up, London. I'd like to share something with you from Luke chapter 20, verses 14 through 20. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table, and he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer, for I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he broke bread, gave thanks, and giving it to them, saying, This is my body, give it to you. Take this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. So it's surprising how many stories in the Bible include bread because it's a popular topic. But in this story, it talks about manna, which is holy bread. In the Bible, it says God provided a daily serving of manna to the chosen people. So when the Israelites were traveling to the promised land, they had nothing to eat and they were going to starve. But God provided for them and he gave them manna every single day. In the same way, God can be the manna of our lives. No matter what we're going through, we can always turn to him, and he will be there for us day after day. In Luke 6.35, it says, this is my body, and I will serve you. And so it, no matter what happens, he will always be there for us, and he won't let us down. And at the Last Supper, Jesus tells his disciples, this is my body, which is broken for you. Eat this in remembrance of me. So he paid the ultimate sacrifice for our lives so we don't have to pay for our sins. So as you take the, the bread today, remember that Jesus will always be here for you and that he paid the ultimate sacrifice for you and me today. Let's partake the bread together. Adults might not know this, but kids do. When the tray is being passed around, um, kids try to get the center cup because it's worth big points and it's, and it's like winning a mini Super Bowl. So one of you guys better save me a center cup. Just like there's only one center cup, there's only one center spot for one center thing in our lives and that's God. Let's all pray. Thank you, God, for dying on the cross for us, and thank you for the blood you shed for us, and thank you for how many lives you saved. Amen. Let's all take the juice. <laughs> 